Hi guys, Jolene here. I am just sanding inside of the doors with 220 grit. Um, we're not looking for straight lines on the inside of the door, we just want it to be sanded. So this is where you kind of just do what you have to do to get all the guide coat sanded off. My fingertips are completely smoothed off um, from all the sanding we did this weekend, but it's something I actually don't mind doing. Like I, I like sanding the primer. I find it's a fun process to watch it come down to one surface. And it's actually amazing what this primer will take out, like any picks and scratches that are still in the primer. Like you can really sand out quite easily, um, which is really, I don't know, it's satisfying, I guess. You have to do it to understand what I'm saying, but the doors are probably like, one of the more, you know, non-fun jobs about sanding just because there's so many creases and indents, like, yeah, it's, it's a tedious job, but once you just get stuck into it, it, I don't know, it's fun to watch it all come to one surface, like I said, so we're at the 220 grit stage, um, Chad's doing the other line on the quarter panel there and once we're all finished the 220 grit we're gonna do another guide coat but not so heavy of a guide coat more of a lighter guide coat and then we'll do the same process with 400 grit so like the finer the sandpaper the smoother the product so we're technically just polishing the primer so it's all about having a very nice surface when it comes time to paint and you know you don't want different surfaces when you're about to paint right so if we had to sand it through the primer on the body at all and like hit the material underneath or gone to the bare metal you're really not going to want to paint that so that's when you would seal the car one more time with an epoxy then you would paint it directly after where we have it primed and we have the one shell there's nothing sanded through then we're going to be able to paint over top of this primer no problem and yeah that's why we don't use epoxy we don't sand epoxy it's like a really hard product to sand we only use epoxy when we want to paint something without having to sand it so Hope that makes sense. Um, Chad's just checking over my work here. He's happy with it. And then, yeah, we'll be ready for paint soon. Thanks for watching.